Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is the conceptual framework of accounting. And here, it doesn't matter if we are talking about US GAAP or IFRS, the conceptual framework of accounting, they are not 100% the same, but they are the same. They are around 90, 95% the same. So you can use this class for both uh, US GAAP or IFRS accounting. The conceptual framework of accounting is also described as an accounting constitution. It is the greatest law of accounting. Provides an underlying fun foundation of, for accounting standards. Guides the selection of events to be accounted for. Measurement of those events. Means of summarizing them and communicating them to in interest parties. Provide structure and direction to financial accounting and reporting. Disseminated by, by FASB through statements of financial accounting concepts. SFAX, especially SFAX number five is the most important one. So the concept of framework here, we have uh, these elements here, these four huge elements here and one constraint. Uh, so let's go through it. Objective is why do we have uh, do, do we have financial information to provide financial users useful info uh, for decision making? And then how do we do that? We do that through qualitative characteristics of financial uh, financial information, and we also have some constraints. Well, what are these qualitative characteristics here? It is a very long uh, figure here, and we have a video only about this topic, and this video is in our video description. So basically, decision usefulness. We need usefulness in our financial info. Relevance, faithful re representation, and we need consistency, ver verifiability, timeliness, and understandability. And the constraint here is the cost effectiveness. Benefits should exceed costs. Okay, and what about elements? Elements is what we already know and what we study a lot. Assets, liabilities, equity or net assets, investment by owners, distribution to owners. So here we are talking about balance sheet. Comprehensive income, revenues, expenses, gain and losses. We are talking about income statement. And, when, and with these two financial statements, we have a lot of other financial statements. Just a second, we will be right there. Recognition and measurement concepts. Very long topic. Again, we have a video only about this topic and the video is in our video description. But summarizing it, recognition refers to the process of admitting information into the financial statements. Measurement is the process of uh, a association numerical amounts with the elements. So recognition is what will be accounted. Measurement is how and how much. And disclosure is to show it. The process of including additional pertinent information in the financial statements and accompanying notes. Regional recognition criteria, definition, measurability, relevance, and reliability. Okay? And finally, financial statements. We also have videos about each of these financial statements. We have income statements, a statement of comprehensive income, balance sheet, and if we are talking about international accounting, they call it a statement of financial position, a statement of cash flows, and statement of shareholders' equity, or statement of equity, or statement of stockholders' equity. We don't have only one name for these 
statement. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Subscribe our channel, like our video, like our Facebook page, and have a very nice day. And always, God bless you.